So, you find yourself in a bit of a pickle. You want to reach out to your ex-boyfriend with an emotional message, but you're not quite sure where to start. Don't worry, we've got your back. In today's video, we're diving into the art of crafting that perfect heartfelt message that'll tug at his heartstrings and maybe even spark a little romance. So, grab your pen and paper, and let's get writing. First things first, let's set the stage. Crafting an emotional message to your ex requires a delicate balance of vulnerability, sincerity, and a sprinkle of charm. Think of it as composing a love letter straight from the heart. You want to convey your feelings authentically while also leaving room for him to respond in kind. Start by reflecting on your emotions and intentions. Why do you want to reach out to your ex? Are you seeking closure, hoping to rekindle the flame, or simply expressing gratitude for the time you shared? Understanding your motives will help guide the tone and content of your message. Now, let's talk about structure. It's like building a sturdy foundation for your message to stand on. Begin with a warm and friendly greeting to set the tone on a positive note. Avoid diving straight into heavy emotions. Instead, ease into the conversation with light-hearted banter or fond memories you shared together. Next up, it's time to get real. It's like peeling back the layers of an onion to reveal your true feelings. Express yourself authentically and vulnerably, but keep it concise and to the point. Share how you've been feeling since the breakup, what you've learned, and how you've grown as a person. Don't shy away from expressing gratitude. It's like sprinkling a little extra sugar on your morning coffee. Acknowledge the positive impact your ex had on your life, even if things didn't work out in the end. Gratitude goes a long way in fostering a sense of closure and appreciation. Now, let's talk about the big question, to apologize or not to apologize. If you feel like you owe your ex an apology for past mistakes or hurtful actions, now's the time to do it. Be sincere and genuine in your apology, but also be prepared for the possibility that he may not be ready to forgive just yet. Finally, wrap up your message with a warm and friendly closing. It's like putting a cherry on top of a delicious sundae. Leave the door open for further communication if he's receptive, but also respect his boundaries if he needs space. Remember, you've done your part by reaching out. The ball is now in his court. In conclusion, writing an emotional message to your ex-boyfriend is all about sincerity, vulnerability, and a touch of charm. By expressing your feelings authentically and respectfully, you'll set the stage for a meaningful conversation that could potentially lead to closure or even reconciliation. So, what are your thoughts on reaching out to an ex with an emotional message? Have you ever done it before? And if so, how did it turn out? Share your experiences or insights in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful or thought-provoking, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends who might need some relationship advice, and of course, subscribe for more intriguing discussions. Until next time, happy writing!